Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Today. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, October the 7th, so it's Watch Your Work on Wednesday. So today, what I am working on, trying not to knock over stuff. <laughs> I'm about to record a No Catch Today episode also. But, alright, this is a Premier Everyday Anti-Peeling Bobbin <laughs> that I was gifted uh, a month ago-ish. And I was making a a wrap, it was, or yeah, a wrap, it was called, um, comfy at home wrap or something like that but <laughs> I was about a third of the way down noticed a mistake so I ripped it out worked some more and then noticed a mistake again so I ripped it out again and while I was ripping it out the second time I noticed another mistake further down towards the beginning so I was just aggravated with it and um it was a simple enough pattern but somehow I kept messing it up so I just ripped the whole thing out and rewound it back on here that's why it looks all crazy and then I was like you know what I still want to use this yarn so I started a Just Feel Festive shawl uh, that a lot of people are making right now. It's a free pattern by Kalisha Ryan. There's the part that's pointing that way. And here's the decreasey part. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm right there. Just ripped out a stitch, but that's okay. So that's what I'm working on. I started a Just Feel Festive shawl. I know a lot of people are doing it right now because of Z's birthday. But um, I just wanted another easy pattern to work on while recovering from having to rip this one back two, three times, however many times it was. But yeah, so this is basically like a granny stitch, just it's done a diagonally uh, so that it gets long, but it's shaped. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> I'll pop up a picture if I can remember of what it looks like when it's done. But uh, so far, so good. I'm using a, this yarn is a worsted weight yarn. And uh, I don't know if I have enough of this yarn to finish it, but I have another color of this, the blue. This is this one's called lime green. I don't know what the blue one's called. There's the solid color. It was stuck down in there. Um, that if I run out of the green, I'm just going to add the blue to it. <laughs> I'm not even worried about it. So uh, this is worse weight, and I'm using a J-hook. I think her pattern is holding two fingering weights together to make a DK weight. And she's using like a G-hook, I think, or even an elf. And... Um, I just wanted to use this yarn up. I was really wanting to use it. I, I like the yarn. It's soft and squishy. One thing I don't like about it is the, the ply, um, the twist isn't that good at all. So while I'm working with it, it does like, what's it called? It untwists and you get like strands. See how it's like spread apart real easily. And that's kind of annoying <laughs> when you're making a stitch and you don't pick up one of those little strands and you have to rip it back to get that little strand. Um, that's kind of annoying. I don't like that. But other than that, I do like this yarn. So I'm working on the solid green portion, and then I'll be going into the dark green and light green, and then into the light green. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to be enough to do the whole shawl. I'm probably going to have to add some of the blue to it, but um, we'll see, and we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm not too worried about it right now, but I am super aggravated with this yarn just because of, uh, well, it's not the yarn, it's just the pattern, but it's associated with this yarn. The first pattern I did, I uh, ripped out sometimes. I did take the top off the bobbin so that the yarn would come off easier. Um, I've seen some people do that and I thought that was a good idea because it works fine when the yarn is full, but once you start getting down closer to the tube, uh, it keeps getting snagged on the little, the lip here and that was annoying. So I just ripped it off. <laughs> it's just glued on there. So I ripped it off and uh, now it comes off easier, uh, without me struggling. And it also that my scrap ball fits in there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I thought that was handy, but I do like the yarn. I just hate that it's splitty. And uh, so far I'm liking this pattern, it's really easy. It's like two row repeat after you get started. So uh, you just do it to the length that you want. And I'm excited to see what it looks like when it's done. But I'm thinking I'm gonna have to definitely add the blue, but it might look good with the blue and green. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm using my cross stitch marker that I got gifted recently. <laughs> I use this a lot because in my little station in there by the couch, when I get done with the project, I just throw whatever stitch marker in my little bowl. So when I start a new project, it's just the one that's there. <laughs> but so I'm using that one. And I do that just to mark um, the side that, is it this side? That's the side that increases. And then this is, the one with that stitch marker is the decrease side. Um, so I do that so that I can remember. This is the side that I do the two double crochet in the turning chain. And this is the side that I do the triple crochet. <laughs> that, that way I can remember. Um, if I just pick it up, I can already know where, which way I'm going. 
But yeah, so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. So let me know in the comments what you guys are working on. And uh, feel free to leave any links or to patterns or channels or whatever in the, uh, the comments below. And so we can all check them out. And yeah. I did want to mention another thing that I'm starting this Wednesday. This has nothing to do with crochet. <laughs> but I wanted to mention it because I mentioned it on my Vlogtober video. Let me stuff that in there. Look at there. It's a project bag. <laughs> but um, I started, I found a um, Instagram account. Move these. And it's, she's at sign, uh, Worthy Living Mom. And if I can remember, I will link it in the description below. And I'm just going to warn some people. This, she is a Christian based, um, person. <laughs> so the thing that she's doing is mildly, uh, Christian related, but you could easily alter it to any religion that you follow. Um, or just take the religious part out of it and add something else in there. Um, but she started a 14 day, a two week, um, thing. It starts actually today. Wednesday the 7th, and it runs through about the 14th. Is that right there? <laughs> um, two weeks, though. And um, it's called Mind, Body, Home, and Soul Challenge. And it's just a 14-day thing. I thought it would be fun to try. But what you do is you print out the thing, or you can just keep it digitally. I printed it out because I like having physical copies. But it's got each day, um, it's got the little symbols for the mind, body, home, and soul. And it's got a little description here, but she's got a further detailed description on her blog, which I'll also try to link below. And the mind is you spend 20 minutes a day reading a book, any book. Body is you spend 20 minutes or more exercising and you eat at least three servings of vegetables and drink a lot of water. Um, home is you clean or organize something or spend extra time connecting with your family. And uh, I think that's good because some of us, especially me, I don't know. I've never been diagnosed with anything, but <laughs> I've got something wrong with me to where I... Uh, I guess ADHD or bipolar or something. I don't know. But um, I'll start doing something and not easily get distracted by other things. And then at the end of the day, hardly anything gets done because I'm flying around doing half of everything. <laughs> and then the last one is soul. And it's read the Bible and pray. But, you know, if you are a different religion, you could easily alter that to whatever your religion includes. Or if you're not religious at all, you can just add something that's good for your soul. Like, even if you're not a religious person, you know what's good for your soul. You know, like, like people love reading or playing video games or crafting <laughs> you could add your craft on there and just do that daily so it's, it's easily altered <laughs> but um if you follow her on instagram you know and let her know that you're joining then she and the other people participating can be motivational to you by commenting on your posts if you um tag them and hashtag and all that stuff or you can just do it privately at home and uh, you know self-motivate <laughs> or you can even feel free to share it with me if you want you can email me or follow me on instagram which it will always be linked below and um we can just do it all together i thought it'd be fun and i wanted to mention it today since today's the day it starts but um so far i'm doing good but i did just wake up a few hours ago <laughs> so i usually don't eat my first meal until later in the day because i just not hungry so so far all i've had is uh some water <laughs> and my medicine if that counts <laughs> but um <clears throat> i'm excited about it because i think this will because I'm a goal person, I'm a list person, so this gives me a little list every day of things to accomplish, or try to accomplish. You don't have to accomplish them, but you're supposed to strive towards it. That's what a goal is. You're supposed to try to achieve it. Um, so, I, you know, I can I can read. I usually read the Bible in the mornings. It's actually my phone reads it for me. I turn it on where the dude is reading it, <clears throat> and listen to it. So I think that counts. <laughs> but I also read uh, ebooks and stuff that I have. I like to, and I have physical books of like uh, self-help type books and motivational type books. So um, I'm good at with reading. <laughs> and blogs. I think blogs would count too because I like reading blog posts. Body is just 20 minutes a day. That's easily a quick workout that's on YouTube or a walk. Or now that me and Devin have bicycles and Jesse, we can take a bicycle ride. And we usually spend more than that on a bike because uh, it's a lot of fun. The eating vegetables is the hard part for me because you're supposed to eat non-starchy vegetables. <laughs> starchy vegetables are my favorite. But um, like today, my plan for non-starchy vegetables is that when I eat lunch, I'm planning on eating like a sla uh, sandwich or something with some cucumbers because I love cucumbers. I can eat them like just by themselves, like a bowl full. <laughs> and then tonight for dinner, I'm going to make roasted carrots and green beans and some potatoes <laughs> with uh, some chicken. So there's the other two right there, minus the potatoes, but you know. What I'm going to do is, um, what I've been doing is I, I put less potatoes every time and more of the other vegetables so that we're kind of like weaning ourselves <laughs> to less potatoes and more of the healthier stuff. And the cleaning, I usually do some cleaning every day just to try to keep caught up. I'm sure everybody does that. But like um, 
her idea of that is to focus on a specific area like a junk drawer or you know something that you've been neglecting for a while so uh, I'm just gonna try to do that I have plenty of those around so I can do that easily and then reading the Bible and you know I guess that could count as your reading too <laughs> but in praying but or if you're different you can do whatever you want to do whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> but i'm excited so i thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys to see if any of you would be interested and um yeah so i got my two pages printed out and i, I put her hashtag up here so that i wouldn't forget although i doubt i will <laughs> because um she's already commented to me and stuff so uh but just in case you know you never know but I will try to remember to link all of the stuff I just talked about below. And also, with the work, Watch Your Work on Wednesday, just go ahead and link everything in the comments if you're interested in doing that. And Because uh, I love checking out new patterns and new channels and new websites and new everything. <laughs> and I'm sure other people do too. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here because i got to record some more videos real fast. And then i got to get to sewing. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.